Hello, everyone. This is the first episode of the Chris Trash Podcast, and I'm your host, Chris Trash. And I'm welcomed here today by the owner of the Comic Crusaders, Al Mega. What's going on, Al? I'm chilling, Mr. What's Chris going Crash. on, Al? How you doing? Thank you for inviting me to this premiere episode. Absolutely. This is my first one, so I'm uh, kind of excited to have you on here. And... Um, going to tell you a little bit what uh, my podcast is about. It's going to be about toys, mostly about toys, but I want to also get into the pop culture of movies and maybe some video games in there. You know, a lot of things that go through my mind and, you know, more of the pop culture things. And I think today my first episode is going to be about um, Endgame, actually. What do you think about that, Alex? Have you saw Endgame? Did you watch Endgame, first of all? Yes, actually, I did watch Endgame. And, uh, well, this is your show, so I'll let you have the initial reaction. <laughs> uh, and this is going to be a non-spoiler review. I'm going yeah. to try to keep it a non-spoiler review. And I thought it was absolutely amazing. It's three hours of just awesomeness, man. And I enjoyed every second of it. It was definitely a tearjerker. Um, there was many moments I enjoyed. Uh, Captain America hit so much ass. Iron Man is the man in the movie. Uh I don't know, man, just so much action, and, you know, it takes place right after um, Infinity War, which is cool, you know, you still get that little, um, you still get the little background of what's still going on, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's awesome, man, I love the movie, uh, it was just, a, it was, I was just happy, and uh, I want to see more, you know, it's sad, I don't know if they say this is the last one, you know. Well, the last but, one for this current iteration of Heroes, we're going to see, you know, you know how they're doing these Marvel Rising projects with the new generation of heroes. Because, you know, let's be honest, people, you know, I, I grew up with way different heroes than you grew up with. Definitely, you know, honestly definitely. speaking, I mean, we, could, we appreciate each other's heroes, but we, we each may have a soft spot for, you know, what was more closer to our times. You know what I mean? And, and, and this new generation has a whole bunch of new heroes, and I can't wait to see this growth. I, I, what, what Marvel did in, in these films was amazing. The, this was the culmination, you know, 22 films, you know? They definitely, that's a like lot you of said, films. it was a tearjerker. You had moments where you, you will fan out like never before. You want to get up and scream, hell yeah, in the middle of a theater. Um, and, 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 yeah, Chris, it's three hours, but it doesn't feel like three hours. It me. doesn't actually, man. I was like, "What?" I was sitting in the movie theater, thinking my ass was gonna get numb, and my ass was not numb at all. Because you're on you the know? edge like, of your seat I, the whole time, it's so engaged yes. in the film. Absolutely, absolutely. What I was gonna say, well, who was your favorite character in in your in the movie? Oh, I right. remember you telling me that someone was your favorite, and if you can tell me who that was, no, well, it, it, who it, was it? it? No, well, right now, you know, just, just looking back, it was Thor. Thor was Thor, yeah. hysterical <laughs> in this movie. He Dude, was so he had funny. me fucking dying laughing. And, and, had and me his dying. Look, and his look, when, when oh, you know, yes. his look in this movie, when, when, when you first see him, it's like, what in the hell just happened? <laughs> That's, I was dying. I was like, holy shit. I was, oh, man. That was I got really worried cool. myself because shit, I drink, man. I'm like, oh, my God. I hope not. Dude. Even even um, Bruce Banner was awesome in the movie you know, too. It was cool, but I, I I just you know I thought he was you know yeah you see him, but I don't I didn't see the Hulk use the way I would like to see him. You know there was yeah, also that yeah. very funny scene you know based on what they have to do where he's so embarrassed about himself, <laughs> yeah. which I found totally funny too. And, and he goes through the that motions so and he did it so dumb. He's like, oh my god. Uh, but there were some things that. I, mm-hmm. I couldn't believe that happened, man. I was like, oh, man. Like, you know, I was like, shit. That's, that's crazy. It well, can't me at all. Yeah, uh, the, you know, people were aware that obviously there are going to be losses in the in the film, obviously. You know, there yeah, will be deaths. Yeah, I'm not yeah, going to mention yeah. what the deaths are, but definitely, you know, uh, one's a total tear jerk and the other is like, what in the hell? Really? <laughs> no. I know. Yeah, I want to... I do want to see, man. I hope now that Marvel, you know, they're kind of done with this phase of, what is it? They call it, I don't know. Actually, can you explain this to me? If maybe you can give me a little, I don't know what's this phase one, phase two, phase three. What's that? Like, what do they mean by that? I've been reading online. It's just, and... it's just their releases of their movies. Oh, okay. You know, okay. so, you know, it, you know, for this, for, let, let's set this in a stage. 
So, um, and the four phases of, how is it? It's just stages in how they release the heroes. All right, okay. so here we go. So okay. basically, um, the, they do that to mark important time periods in the universe. Okay. So okay. the beginning of each phase means that something just happened. So phase one with Iron Man, you know, it's the birth of the superheroes, right? So then yes. phase one ends with the Avengers, and then okay. phase two begins with Iron Man 3. Ends okay. with Ant-Man. Phase three begins with Civil War. And then um, it says here, well, uh, I'm assuming Endgame, of course. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. March 6th, May 3rd, 2019. Yeah, well, Infinity War, yeah. So Endgame. Okay. And then the phase four is now going to be uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, uh, the Spider Man oh, sequel. Just saw, I just saw a whole bunch of uh, cool, like I saw a poster of a whole bunch of movies coming. I wanted to tap in Marvel to yeah, um, Spider Man. Oh, what is it? Secret Wars was it? They said no. Well, Spider Man Secret Wars. What they really? Yeah, yeah, I believe it is that. But what they also hoping for that they really haven't announced a full plan for Phase Four. Because they, they're hoping, hoping for those X-Men mm-hmm. Rise of Fantastic Four oh. to get that deal and oh. make this part of the Phase 4, you know? Dude, if they get the X-Men, I'm so all in for that. I mean, they yeah. kind oh. of have them, don't they? It's just a matter of seeing, because yeah. Disney owns Fox now, but it's now just working out those contracts from the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would thing. And, but what was your favorite character in, in the movie, and or moment? I'm, the, I'm still going to say, oh, man, Captain America, man. That was your He's boy. still, you know, <laughs> that's my boy, bro. You know, Brooklyn, Steve Rogers. <laughs> you know, he's the man, dude. Like, oh, yeah. especially that, mo- you know what that moment I'm talking scene, about. That iconic scene, like, holy shit. Yes, yes. I was like, what? I was like, oh, yo, dude, I went, I went on my seat. I was like, oh, this is fucking dope, man. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, he's the man, dude. He is the man. I was like, fuck you. I, I, you know what? I knew it anyway, dude. You know, from that one scene that happened yeah. a long time ago. I forgot what scene it was. Yeah, I forgot what movie it was. Yep, yep, yep. And, and, and then the iconic when he said the two little words and what happens behind that. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Right? That was awesome, awesome, awesome. I mean, you got to give I credit to Thanos, though. That was one badass motherfucker. Dude, Thanos is crazy, man. <laughs> That's a, dude, he's like the best villain I've ever seen, bro. Like on screen, actually, man. One of the best. Yeah, man. He was batshit crazy. Definitely. Absolute batshit crazy. And Josh Brolin did a good job, bro. Yeah, he did. He For did. real. I mean, the way he rolled up, Thanos, he don't yeah. F, dude. No, no. no that was a great movie, yeah, man. I can't wait to five. see more. Yeah, this is definitely five a five out four. of five, that, and, and, and it deserves, you know, a good acclaim, and whoever hates on this, stop being an asshole. <laughs> it makes me want to get a whole, like, I want to get the whole, like, just for a collection, it makes me want to get the whole DVDs and whatnot just to have them, man. From Captain America, or First Avenger. Actually, I didn't want to start from there. I want, some real, I want to start from Blade, honestly, because Blade is my... I still love Blade Isn't to this day. Crazy? I the best in that they don't Marvel consider, movies. yeah, don't, they don't consider Blade in any one of the phases, if you notice. They don't. No, they don't. They thought you. You know what they said? The first phase was Iron Man, actually, wasn't it? They said yes, yeah, Iron Man. That's what I just said. It was Iron yeah, Man. Iron. And, and, but then, but you yeah. know, Blade was a Marvel movie way before out. But I guess because I don't know, for sure, I guess because he wasn't a, a so uh, an Avenger type character, you know. No, uh, no, he wasn't. But... He's, he's, he was great. Wesley Snipes was awesome. He still is Blade to me, but he's old now, man, so yeah, well, try to pass, I, time to well, pass the they, mantle. Well, yeah, is there is there another Blade in comics? What's up? I, mean, I, I don't think there's another Blade in comics. Is there? No, I don't think so. Like a kid. No, uh, I does think he have a kid? No. I think he has a kid, so you know, how, no, how they I do never... that? Who would he pass the mantle to? No, you're absolutely right. Uh-huh. You know, so whatever. Who who knows what they do? He will bite somebody. <laughs> Here. <laughs> uh, 
right. You know, right. that's the... I don't know if you've seen this, actually. Um, there's a cool artist, man. He's a great, great artist. He's on Instagram. And he's been getting a lot of uh, popularity lately. His name is Boss Logic. Oh, yeah, Boss and, Logic. Uh, yeah, man, yeah. yeah. He's awesome, man. He just actually got um, Marvel actually to get some posters out for yeah. him. Actually, hey, I mean, cool. you were talking about Blade, man. Did you get your hands on that uh, Mezco Blade figure? Did you take a look at it ever? No, man. I wish I did, but uh, that's an awesome figure. I see a lot of people online have them. It's definitely a must-get because he's going to be, I feel, his Blade figure is going to be something like um, the Punisher figure when it first came out. <clears throat> that that first Punisher, the yeah. original Mezco first Punisher that came out, it was hot. You know what I mean? People, I think, kind of slapped on it when it first came out. I know it was hot, but it just, like, like months later, it just came harder and harder to get. It got hotter, and same thing's going to happen with Blade, man. And they already came out with that Toy Fair exclusive one, which was awesome, man. That was uh, cool. But this one comes with a trench coat. It comes with different, more accessories. Uh, you know, they always try to change it up. To well, it's it's Vesco, man. Happy. <laughs> I love Metro, man. You know, they make some great shit. Actually, they just put the pre-order, the new uh, Midnight. Uh, Midnight, you hear me? Moon Knight. <laughs> Moon Knight is fire. Uh, he looks dude, but, fire, dude. Dude, when you actually showed me that catalog, man, I was like, dude, I was like, yo, that's toilet food. But I, I, I that hope you, you have to when handle you it. it. Yeah, you have to, <laughs> <laughs> you have to uh, handle that toy with care for sure because uh, it's all white mm -hmm. and, you know, Yes, probably wear white gloves. No outside scenes for him. No, not for sure. No outside scenes, man. It's something you have to keep in the badges, I feel, man, for real. That he's so white. He's in the kitchen. Uh, if Chris Cross gets Moon Knight, it's going to be a Moon Knight at AKA Bubble Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're going to put him in a bubble. No. This is the only way you touch I've him, Danny. That. You really? Actually, actually, I still have um, Toy Fair exclusive. Uh, Agent Gomez, and I still haven't opened them up yet. I still have them. I'm still like, I want to. There's days that I take them out, hold them in my hand, and then I don't open them up. <laughs> Dude, I like, I really want to, I want to snap pics of him. I yeah. really do. Because these are such an amazing figure. That sucks. I'm telling you guys, this is an amazing figure. It's uh, <laughs> top notch. Take it's it like, from when him. When I first saw but, it. I... If you guys see his toy room, goddamn. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, got to share. Did you mine. set up the your new toy room yet? Because if you did... It now, I'm actually waiting for my detox shelf to come in so I can put my little X-Men, my little collection. I, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with the... I'm obsessed with the 90s X-Men era. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, you I love the, that animated series. What, the Toy Biz ones? No, no. The ha the new Hasbro ones. Oh, I wish had some. Well, the Toy Biz, the Toy Biz, you know, there's some cool ones. Actually, the Toy Biz, you know, they have... Oh, man, there's so much articulated in these Hasbro ones. Yeah. But the Hasbro's kicking ass right now, man, honestly. And I've got a couple of them. I'm just waiting for uh, to get in the new wave that came out, which is Jubilee. It's the Cali. Cali, what's his name? Taliban wave. Uh -huh. and oh, yes, yes, yes. A building. If you check uh -huh. out Undercover Capes right now, uh, uh, Crisis in the Toyverse, our boy Talka Art is actually reviewing those uh, Taliban wave figures. And if you actually check right now, I believe a new one was posted uh, along, I think this weekend we, I posted the Caliban stuff. So nice, if you're nice. a fan of that, you know, you definitely got to check those out. Um, I definitely will. Yeah, so yeah, I'll tell you right now. So from this, it was uh, Blink. He did recently. Um, Blink, yeah. He also did Gambit recently. That's the one I want. Oh, uh, he also that whole did, is awesome. he did Forge. Nice. And Jubilee. Nice. Forge was definitely needed. And Jubilee. Nice. And Jubilee. Right now, yeah. That Jubilee was needed, too. That classic. If they had a Jubilee back in the day, it was a build a fitted Jubilee, but it wasn't the classic like this, you know, with the yellow jacket, shorts, you know. They had, she had a whole black outfit and yellow jacket. It wasn't really the see? classic look that I was looking oh. for. Please take a look because I, uh, I, since you are an X Men fan, um, Talk of Art also reviewed the Hasbro Marvel Legends Mystique action figure, but the Walgreens oh, exclusive. Yes, yes, that's awesome. That's only a Walgreens, guys, and it's hard to get. I mean, 
actually, if you, I'm from Pennsylvania, man, and there's not no freaking Walgreens around where I'm at. It's only a freaking Walmart and shit. Yeah, so the Walgreens buy me, me clothes, man. CVS killed uh, me. <laughs> It's so it's so hard to get those toys, but if you guys you know if you guys have one around there, some uh, I don't know how long the sale was going for. I think it was till the end of this month, I believe. You can actually get that figure for I think yeah, you only got to April thirtieth. Uh, you can get that Mystique figure for thirteen ninety nine. Oh wow, really? So yeah, it beats the twenty two dollar Marty's uh, scalpers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they try. <laughs> That's what they're doing. They're getting them for thirteen ninety nine and flipping them for thirty. I mean, I get the hustle. You know what I mean? But oh, yeah. listen, business, a lot of business. People, capitalism this is America, totally. folks. <laughs> totally, totally. You know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, man, definitely. I'm. I thought you'd find the Walgreens around me. I wish I could wrap them, but I can't. So I gotta depend on my brother in New York. And uh, Alice, I know you don't have one over there, so no, I can't no, I only you. got Walmart's, <laughs> man. I could help you with that. This motherfucker got me taking pictures every time I go to a goddamn Walmart. He goes, yo, when you see wrestling figures, take pictures and like an asshole, and like a robot, and I do it. Oh, folks, if you guys don't know, yeah. he's also my baby brother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 sir. So really? anyway. I actually yeah. want to move on to the next subject, which is um, this new toy company. I don't know how new That's they what? are, actually, but they're coming out with these awesome, awesome uh, 112 action figures. They're clothes. They're actually from Pub. I don't know if you played that game, Alex. Oh, it's on oh, Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I know what you're PUBG. PUBG, I know what you're exactly. About. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep, yep, yep. And this brand, they are called uh, Soldier Oh, the Story Soldier Toys. Story. Oh, damn. Ooh. These are figures? And if you check in there, I don't know if you have Instagram, brother, but uh, you can see more of their pictures online. And uh, you can see the PUBG. He looks awesome. He has like a white shirt. He has a tie. He has a whole army of two helmet going on. He looks awesome. And I know some of their bodies, they don't have their joints showing. So they have that, you know what I mean? Like that 112 kind of body that you can't see the joints at all. Like just skin over them, which is pretty oh, cool. Oh, shit is crazy, dude. Get out. Yeah, man. I see what you're saying. I'm on their Insta right now. And I'm looking at, I know. at the H Hong Kong police figure, for example. Wow. That looks legit, man. Yeah, this is a one fifth scale figure. Yeah, the one you're looking at the Hong Kong police, that's one fifth scale for sure. They make really cool. They're they're are you definitely fucking in the... with me. Are these toys or this is a person dressed up? You messing No, up. these are toys, man. These are action figures, bro. Dude, they they he looks like a real little person. They look legit. My God, the detail in these toys is amazing. amazing. They're they just jumping into the one six game. I mean, one twelve game actually, because these new. I'm into all one twelve. One six, yeah, they're too big for me, man. I like them. I really love them. I support them, but they're too big for me. <laughs> I only had actually one. It was a Hot Toys uh, one six scale Deadpool from the movie, Dude, which was awesome. And they also do. Wrestling figures? Actually, yes, they they just started doing these statues. Dude, that statue of John Cena? Holy shit! The detail. Look at that. Do you see the statue of the Rock with the vein yeah, on the forehead? Man. The vein. Yeah, Isn't man. that 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 is just insane? When I looked at it and at people... first, I thought it was a picture of the Rock, but no, it's a fucking statue. It's awesome. Yeah, and this uh, this actually has real clothes on them too. Actually, that cloth on them, which is awesome. How did you run across these? Do you have some of these in your collection? No, I wish I did, but I actually ran upon these through a Facebook group. And uh, actually, I'm a big. I'm you know I'm, I'm always talking about Mesco, and uh, somebody had posted these. They always post toys that have clothes on the Mesco to compare and. Yeah. People are saying that all oh, these people want to give Mesco a run for their money. Well, let's see, man. Cause there's actually this one toy company called Soap Studios that that um, they were trying to compete with Mesco, I believe, but they're not doing such a great job. Maybe one toy came Wait, out. I don't know if you could check it you're out. You're killing me, bro. Soaps. Did these motherfuckers just what? make a unicron, too? 
I don't know. Yes, they, they did. They did a unicorn statue, and that motherfucker lights up. Please check what their Instagram. It? They have a unicorn figure from this, and and Optimus Prime. Yes, I see Optimus Prime is awesome. For the unicorn. Age of Extinction. Yeah, man. It, Hot Rod's right in front of him. Look at that. My God. Wow. Fire. Yo, big up to uh, Soldier Story. It's SoldierStory-Toys.com. Check them out. They're definitely amazing. Dude, dude. Yo, great choice here. My God. <laughs> Definitely going to be a support of these guys. For sure. uh, you know enough. what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to start following their ass right now because uh, uh, let me show the support. Wow, awesome stuff. I yeah. always love finding these uh, new toy companies. That, you see? I'm all, like I said, <laughs> I'm all about the cloth. I hear you, man. All see, about I, the cloth. I wish I was as cool as you picking such cool toys, but I did want to bring up something to you because I know that, that you know you kind of were asking me questions about the dark multiverse storyline at one point you know that happened in dc with all these dark batman and yeah um, yeah. uh actually diamond has a previews exclusive funko pop coming out for you funko uh pop fans it's actually going to be the red death which is this uh flash focused batman that's just a murderous fast little bastard and really really Dude, it, it looks so cool. This I'm little pop. looking it up right now. Just go to Let's Comic see. Crusaders and look up Red Death. It's right there. He joins All right, the gotcha. Dark Multiverse. It's a cool looking figure. Uh, it retails for eleven ninety nine, which is available now for pre-order. All right? So this is expected for release in June of this year. Uh, so get your pre-orders in if you were a fan of, of that uh, pretty cool storyline that you know, definitely brought about some very different interpretations of one of our favorite heroes that's celebrating his 80th anniversary this year. 80 years of Batman, Chris. How do you feel about that? That is, oh man, that's crazy. 80 years of Batman. So many different adaptations of Batman, comic books and movies and all that. But I, I, Batman kicked ass. He's always going to be around, I believe. You know, he's one of my favorite characters in DC. If you have a, just... a choice of a favorite Batman, What's your favorite Batman? Like, what era and or, you know, from you know, whether whether it's a cartoon or a comic? Thomas yeah. Wayne. Thomas? That's your boy. Thomas, <laughs> Thomas Wayne Bruce Batman. Once he saw Thomas. <laughs> I, it's not Bruce Wayne, but I know it's Thomas Wayne. That's honestly, that's my favorite Batman. Hey, Batman's just a suit, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, anybody to be Batman, that's my favorite Batman, you know what I mean? Like, Thomas Wayne taking on the man. He was bastard, just, that's why. That's why, you know, you don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? Like, he uses guns, he, you know, he, he, he don't care. And, and I just love the whole story behind how his mother became Harley Quinn, you know, Bruce Wayne died, Thomas Wayne became Batman, you know, it's really cool. Yeah. I really like that. she became Joker, no? She, yeah, she became, what did I say? You said Quinn. Oh, yeah. She became Joker, my bad. That's kind of crazy, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, you were married to her. Yeah. So you know, she's your greatest enemy. <laughs> that was cool. That was really so, cool. Did you check out the Funko Pop figure? What do you think? Yes, I did. It looks awesome. Eleven ninety nine is not bad. Right? It's a great pre-order. Isn't it cool? I actually, actually have the... Actually, the Red Death. I think I have this comic book. You should, man. You know, his first appearance came out not too long ago. I mean, it's not as hot... As the Batman Who Laughs first appearance, you know, because the Batman Who Laughs seems to be the one that resonated the most with people, which is this Joker cross Batman, you know, villainous. I have this. There you go. I think I do. If you have that Teen Titans issue, I forget which one it is, but it was in Teen Titans that the Batman Who Laughs made his first time. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Actually, I have to give you those... uh... I actually picked up those comic books. I, have I need those years. Walmart ones. Send them over. Because Wal- guess what? Walmart no longer has the exclusive. On the Walmart uh, You know Giants. what, man? I'm so pissed off. I should have gotten the Swamp Thing when I saw that. You I didn't, didn't get, get it. it? Nah, man. Why? I should have got it. 
I was broke at the time. <laughs> well, I'm always broke, but okay. if I get to go and I have a couple of bucks, I mean, I'll check. Because that one day that I found it, I couldn't believe it. It was one of each, last ones. I was like, oh, my God. Really? Oh, my God, I found some. I How many did you get? Just, uh, you know, uh, a Batman, Wonder Woman. I got the Swamp Thing. I didn't get nah, Batman. Not the, the Batman you got. I got like a uh, Batman number three okay. or whatever, four or five. You have the one cool, that I cool. want, the first issue. Which is the first yeah, I got your number one. I got your Teen Titans number one, I believe it is. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know if there was a Superman number one. I'm not sure if i seen if that. If you got the Supes number one, that'd be awesome. But the Bats number one was the first one, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, it's so funny. I was trying to look for those for a long time, brother, and so I could give them to you, and I found them finally, and I put them in a nice place. I thought I was like, man, they're ruined now because I don't know where they are. And, you know, I kept them nice and safe. In my, it was in my toy closet. It was the rest of my toys. I was like, all right, that's why I put them there because they're nice, safe, and sound and clean. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, also, there was a, what other? Uh, there was another. Oh, I've actually sent you the link to this not so long ago. I believe they're called Valiverse Action Fingers. They are pretty cool action figures. They are in par with Marvel Legends. Actually, they're on the same scale. If you want to check them out, people, they're on uh, Instagram. They're called uh, The Valiverse. And they're doing something totally different. Like, I'm looking on here right now, and, and they were coming with so much accessories. You just switch heads. You could, you know, switch arms, I think, hands. He has the uh, butterfly joints going on with the arms. Uh, he had this guy putting on so many different characters of these soldiers. That's what they are. They are soldiers. And some of them are like Vikings, too. But uh, most of them are definitely soldiers. And uh, they're awesome. And I think uh, these toys are going to kick ass when they come out. And I think it's a Kickstarter for now. Yeah, it's not even just toys. There's a story behind it. I'm looking. If you look at this, it's like military factions. The United States is broken up. We have the United States, and then we have the new colonial. You know, with, with yeah, yeah, there groups. is a story. I mean, there's a whole crazy story behind this. And yo, I see what you mean about the figures, man. That, that's pretty nuts. You can make up whatever you want. Yeah, that's what I same. like. That's what I like about action figures. It's, uh, it's a lot of action figures that do that. I really enjoy it because you just make up a story to change up the the gear on them you know what i mean like it's fun it's a fun thing to do and take pictures you know what i mean like that's what i like to do um actually i think i follow the the maker uh well somebody that's a i think he helps him out his name is something ruben on uh, facebook i forget his name but uh yeah, he puts them out, too, I believe. It's the same company. It, I think so. Because he puts them out, too. He's always putting them on his um, Facebook. And I uh, follow him because uh, he's he's been in the toy game for a while, and uh, he's put me on to a bunch of new toys that the I've never heard of. The going into these figures is going to be insane. I can't wait. Yeah, can't the wait butterfly looks so much about. better. He even did a fan pole. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people, um, he did a petition, actually. A lot of people voted to go with the butterfly joints, which I actually prefer butterfly joints. You get more highly better pictures with them and more poses. What What's the best so, figure? If, if, if you had a, a choice, what's the how many points of articulation to say the best pictures? Because, you know, if people look... What, what's your Instagram again? My Instagram is uh, Ultimate Toy Gasm. Oh, Understory Toy Gasm at that. It was just full out, of toy uh, photos. We awesome toy photos at that, man. I mean, some high-scale shit. What, what to you is the best amount of articulation in the figure? How many points of articulation? I'm going to say... 25 to 30 points of articulation for 112. And I'm not a 106 scale person, but I believe that 106 scale should have a little bit more articulation than 112 scale figures. But uh, for me, for 112, it's definitely 25 to at least 30 points of articulation. For me. I remember Marvel Legends, I think, are like that too, the Toy Biz one. But, you know, there's a lot of toys that I wish, you know, like Mezco, for example, some of them, like I wish they had, like, 
toe articulation or something to get a little bit more posability on the face. So, for... so how many points of articulation does does a Mesco have? Do you know? Offhand? Uh offhand I really I I should know this, but offhand I really don't. I really don't know. Actually that's a good question. I would like to check that out. Yeah, you're gonna start Googling this shit as soon as we off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, man, I... Okay, um, here we are. It has over 30, apparently. Over 30, look at yeah. that. So, that, like, uh, for definitely cable definitely has over 30 points of articulation. Okay, great. Oh, that's one... Oh, man, cable is definitely... I'm a big, big cable fan. I love cable. He's one of my favorite characters. I have but you see, a lot of his action figures. See, cable has over 30, but now, for example, a Cyclops... Within Mexico has 28 points. Look at that. All right. And then um, if you look at the one of the figures they did, uh, uh, was it Danger Diabolic? Uh, that's also over God. 30 points of articulation. Mexico is over 30 points. Nice. So, yeah, that, no wonder you love Mexico. If it's within your range. <laughs> Uh, it's my favorite. It's my favorite, man. Them and Marvel Legends are like I keep, you know, it's so funny. And I keep trying to get out the Marvel Legends game, and it, those X Men toys keep bringing me back. I got rid of most of them, and then boom, you can't I can't start to bring it back in. So God I can't, forbid, man, it's, just, God it's forbid a nostalgia. You cars. know what I mean? I get it. Instead, you know, I just love it. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm trying to build a lot of stuff from my '90s. You know, I just love seeing that stuff. I'm a, Big 90s. All right. Okay. So I want to do something with you, you know, for the Chris Crash podcast. So let's talk, let's call this the, you know, Chris Crash Hot Corner. All right? The Hot Since Corner. I, the Hot okay. Corner of, uh, of the Toyverse here. Because I know that, you know, you also, you know, again, look, as you said it before, you know, you, you know price points on toys and what's going to get hot or not, right? Right now. Yep. Sure. If, if you could tell, you know, again, you know, people that found upon speculation, you know, whatever. It is what it is. You know, it's just a business and you know, it's a fandom thing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with that, what do you think right now is the most highly sought after collectible toy that came out that, that you recommend people go after that still may be affordable? Uh, affordable wise. Yeah. Um, you know what? Honestly, people. To get their hands on the, I'm gonna go again with Mezco. I know it's hard, but uh, that Toy Fair, I know it's hard to launch up, but you can get it. You can get it. Uh, the Toy Fair Gomez. That's, I think that's that came out January, right? Am I? I'm not mistaken. February. February. Now, so you think? So you, so that, so you. That's an underrated hit right there. That's the toy of the year, man. I'm telling you, Gomez, Agent Gomez is the toy of the year, bro. Everybody loved it. And, you know, and I'm going to explain it to you. People loved it so much that I think they forced Mezco to come out with the figure two more times after it was only released to Toy Fair people. Wow. If you would have seen, seen the forums online, people were pitching and pneumoning saying that it's not fair why did they make this figure and exclusive to only toy fair people and i guess you know <laughs> yeah they were crybabies you know what i mean and like uh you know and i guess mess holes didn't you know hit with their heart with their feedback and i re uh, remember i think it was uh a month ago they came out with a pre-order it came out. It came with the same stuff Toy Fair offered, right? Yeah. And I think it was only. I think it was only open for a few hours, maybe two or three tops, and they closed the pre-order. And then that same day, they came out open with another pre-order, same toy, but didn't come with the same stuff Toy Fair. It came instead of that. It came with a number zero of Agent Gomez comic book to see yeah. what he's all about. Oh, so. That's what they did to satisfy the customers, I believe. You know what I mean? Since everybody was kind of angry at them well, for a while. It, well, they people, don't got to be angry at them. Don't be hating because people got exclusivity. It's part of the business, the nature of the business. Why people got to be so whiny? This is where we need Bobbo to do his voice. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I don't know why, man, but I was, people were really, really mad, man. I'm telling you, they were really mad. Especially when I was telling them I might get it too, so they were really pissed. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was sure. a good one. Uh, yeah, my brother was at Toy Fair. 
<laughs> that was yeah. a great appointment. Shout out to Bobo. Shout out to Mesco. That was an, a great appointment at that booth with an awesome interview with our boy over at Mesco. So, yeah, I can't wait till next year. Hopefully check them out again and see what, what, what other awesome uh, lines they're going to have uh, showing off. And, and hopefully next year, uh, Chris, you're going to be joining me there too. I will definitely be there. Next. I'm not missing out this time. I'm going to take awesome pictures for the for your site and just so we can talk about this podcast. And I'm sure this podcast is going to be going strong. I'm uh, pretty positive about that. Well, absolutely, man. Cause it's about toys, about culture. Look at that. You know, we we got into a few things here. Uh, pretty dope. Um, actually, and if people don't know, if people don't know, just want to let you guys know that you can actually follow the Chris Crash Podcast at C Crash Podcast on Twitter or the Chris Crash Podcast on Facebook. You know, give them a like, give them a follow. Uh, give us a look over on the cover capes too, man. You know, we're, we're hosting his podcast. It's going to be kick ass. All right. And hopefully, you know what? What would be nice, boy, if next time we could get Daniel Black on, cosplayer from New York. Oh, we're definitely. Yeah, that, that we're related to also. So. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely going to get him on. He was, he's an awesome character, man. He's my brother, and he's just amazing, man. He's a, a hardcore collector of horror, he's a big horror fan. He's just a freaking all out collector. I can't even. Yeah, uh, but he's say on the obsessive different. side. His main is horror, though. Yeah. His he's, main is horror, though. He's, he's an obsessive collector, though. He gets onto something, yeah. his radar, it's done. It's like he gets everything. Dude, <laughs> that's <laughs> absolutely good. He gets into cosplay, man. He, that's, it, that's it. He's 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 in a working on cosplay for our lawn to take him just to make that cosplay like the coolest looking cosplay, you know, and he does it and he does it and he gets into character. Like this, my brother's, you know, he's awesome. And when he does stuff like this, you know, it's amazing. Yeah. And people also, love it. Also That's the to thing. people, yeah, annoying to us because when he gets into character too much, he's <laughs> fucking around too much, you know. That's, oh, that's when we yeah. got to play Bangkok so he can stop. Exactly. I was about to say that. I was going to have to punch <laughs> him in his nuts and, you know, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're on the camera, um, guy. Don't worry. It's fun. <laughs> but for sure. Yeah, if you ever want to check out his stuff, that's uh, Candice Lupus on Instagram, actually. That's Daniel. Oh, that's my brother's um, Instagram. He yeah, has uh, pretty cool stuff. Little Interesting. D, where am I? Oh, he's <laughs> Little D, he probably get mad if you call him that. You say, hold on. <laughs> Yo, he used to rap to, just to uh, IMD Nice and think that was all about him. All right? Blow him up. <laughs> Wait till you listen to uh, this, he's going to fucking blast me. Because <laughs> now he's all rock, That's, but he was into hip hop at one point, folks. No, we were all into it. And I'm getting back into it again now, anyway. Honestly, it's like. I never left it. It's, I'm all EDM, I'm, I'm, I'm house, hip hop, metal, rock. Give it to me all. I love it. That's, That's what like, it is. That's what like, it is, man. You got to be like diverse. It. Yeah, diverse and, and grow with the music. You know, I know you appreciate the old stuff. But you got to grow with the new stuff too. That's some kick-ass shit. You that's can't, it. you can't hate on it. No, all. yeah, that's why I got. T- I'm tired of you know. I was listening to a lot of old stuff, and I got kind of tired of the old stuff. I want to listen to something new, and then started listening to uh, actually uh, Logic. He's pretty awesome, and I've been listening to him a lot. And I actually picked up his book. Oh, there's a book called The Supermarket, and it's pretty good. It's interesting. It's are you Pretty done cool with book, it? man. Not yet, not yet. I'm almost. I'll be done with it probably All soon. Right. So, this like something you will recommend thus far? Does it have any? Uh, oh, uh, can you dude, connect it's, with it's it? New York. It's a, oh, I definitely connect with it. You know, because he's been through some stuff, and I could definitely, you know, that's why I like the book. You know what I mean? I gotcha. could uh, relate. You gotcha. know, and it's actually number one New York Times bestseller. Oh, so, really? Logic? Oh, well, kudos, man. I, I've, I've heard some of his music. We had some kids over the weekend at the crib that hey, was putting me on to some more of his uh, music because uh, I was playing my EDM. They're like, can you play this? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, but it's nice, cool. They nice. had some great tracks, you know, and they appreciated how, um, I guess, uh, uh, absorbent I was to it. You know what I mean? I loved it. You know That's what I mean? I would That's what's tough. Yeah, you know, music is music, man. Exactly, music brings people together, man. It's, All right, so that's your is. recommendation: is that Logic book and it's just some Logic stuff. Yes, that's definitely. If you guys <laughs> are into novels, or you know, what I mean, definitely pick up a Logic. It's called the Supermarket, and you can listen to the album while 
you know, reading the book because okay, so, uh, the album's pretty dope too. So when Chris Christ writes his book, the album. okay. So when Chris Christ writes his book, I want it, I want you to call it La Bodega. La Bodega, para tu lo sepa. Yeah, you already know, you know. Yeah, I miss bodegas. Where I'm at, there's no bodegas, bro. There's nothing here in, the, uh, in Pennsylvania. No bodegas this, uh, either. Farm, they don't know shit. Grass. Man. You got delis. They don't know. They don't got nothing. Is, man. <laughs> I missed one inside a bodega and asking for a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich on a roll. Well, you got a bacon, egg, and cheese. You can pick up a beer and, and some paper oh. all at the same time. And get oh, some milk. I, just, I love it. <laughs> I mean, and you, and he wouldn't shot. even get ID because they know you so much. Every <laughs> exactly. time I go to freaking Turkey Hill, I get ID'd all the damn times. Oh, really? To get some. Thank God. Yeah, right man. Here. Even though the lady sees me every freaking day, she, <laughs> she still ID's me. She's trying to picture of you, but she's trying to memorize your numbers. Be careful. She's stealing your ID. She's trying to, yeah. Time. Right? Probably. <laughs> Address, I'd be killed one day. Holy shit. Chris Crash got crashed. Let's do it. Nah. What happened, bro? You made a steal. Forget about it. But yeah, man, I think that's actually what I had to talk about for the day, actually, man. I actually had just those end game, and we talked about Toy Soldier story. Story Soldier. Right? Yeah. I'm correct? Yeah, yeah, Story Soldier. And yeah, yeah. we talked about the Valiverse action figures, which are pretty. And a little bit awesome. about the Red Death, or, you know, pre-order, too, from previews. The Red Death pre-order. Pre-order that, if you guys want. That's a great pop figure. I have seen it. Yeah, it's I'm going to awesome. put the links we... on the post, you know, for the show. So if you guys are just in checking out anything we talked about, I'll definitely add it there so you guys can check it out. It's... Definitely. And even the book recommendation. <laughs> Yeah, it's a supermarket by Logic. Um, Bobby Hall is his name. Let me use his real name. Supermarket by Bobby Hall, a.k.a. Logic. Check that out. It's definitely a great book. All right, so there yeah, you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in with Chris Trash. Wait, Chris. And Al you got to let them know one more thing, though. Where else can they f- name where they could follow you? So you have the Sea Crash Podcast on Twitter, and then you have Chris Crash Podcast on Facebook. And what else, where else can they follow you? You can also follow me on Instagram, Ultimate Toygasm. That's underscore Toygasm, Ultimate Toygasm. There you go. All right. Thank you for tuning in with us, and hopefully we'll be back on soon. (laughs) Take care, guys. Hasta la próxima. This is an official Undercover Cape podcast.